This PowerPoint tutorial looks at creating auto shapes in PowerPoint 2007. There are a number of ways of creating auto shapes in PowerPoint 2007, the simplest of which is probably to use the Home menu and the Drawing section. Within the Drawing section, we have an opportunity to create a number of different PowerPoint shapes. By selecting one with my cursor, for example a rectangle, my cursor now changes to a cross formation, indicating that PowerPoint is ready to draw an auto shape. By clicking where I want one corner of my auto shape to be, dragging my cursor down to the opposite corner of where I want my auto shape to be created, and letting go of my mouse button, I create my auto shape. Another way to create an auto shape a little bit more precisely is again to select the shape I want, perhaps a circle in this instance, and if I want to create a perfectly square shape, I create my auto shape in much the same way, but as I'm clicking and dragging my mouse icon across, if I press the shift key, I then create a perfectly square shape, in this case a circle. A third way of creating my auto shape, for example in this instance a five-pointed star, is to click where I want the centre of my auto shape to be, and by pressing the control key, once I've dragged my mouse icon across, I then create a shape where my initial click is, forms the centre of my auto shape, and my final release forms the outside edge. Once I've created my auto shape, I then have a number of different options in terms of formatting. For example, if I wish to change the colour of my five-pointed star, again I go to back to the drawing section of the home menu, and choosing Shape Fill, the drop-down menu provides me with a range of different colours I can choose from. In this case, let's have a nice light blue colour. I may also want to change the line colour around the outside of my auto shape. Again, using the drawing section, I have the opportunity to create different shape outlines, once again using the drop-down menu. This again provides me with that complete palette of colours to choose from, in this case a darker blue colour, to go with a light blue background. I have a variety of different effects over and above PowerPoint 2003 that I can apply to my auto shapes in PowerPoint 2007. Some of these are found in the Shape Effects section, drop-down menu of the drawing section of my home menu. By clicking this I have a range of different options that I can choose from. Shadows, reflections, bevels and 3D rotation are often very popular. For example, putting a reflection on to give a nice 3D looking effect to my slide gives me a variety of different options and by hovering my mouse cursor over them I get previews within my PowerPoint slide of exactly what that effect will look like. Let's choose this one. I can also add multiple shape effects by using the same drop-down menu, this time for example choosing a 3D rotation and giving me the option of several different rotations that I can choose for my shape. In this case though, I think we'll go with one of the more extreme parallel pieces. A final form of formatting which is quite useful with PowerPoint shapes is to add pictures. If I select one of my shapes and I choose Shape Fill, rather than choosing a different colour from the colour palette, I have the option of using a picture. In this instance, when clicking Picture, I then come up to My Pictures and I can navigate anywhere within my computer to find an image that I want. In this instance, I want a picture of a businesswoman to fill my shape. Selecting the image I want, I then click Insert, and my image then becomes inserted into my PowerPoint shape, which is a nice, quick and easy way of adding images into existing PowerPoint presentations.